Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video reviewing and going over the changes in Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. Uh, a lot of people do call it somewhat of a minor update from 4.2.2, but wanted to go ahead and show everyone the change log and uh, let you guys know what is different about it. So first of all, jumping right into it, we do now have restricted profiles. You'll see I have my Nexus 4 running 4.3 and my new Nexus 7 running 4.3 as well. In regards to restricted profiles, you can just go ahead and go into settings and under users, you will see I only have one profile because I'm the only one that uses this. I can hit add user or, pro or profile and there's an option for restricted profile. What that's going to do is allow you to restrict certain apps, uh, things that they can do and change. Uh, if for example, you don't want a kid going on the internet or they, you only want them playing certain games, you can create a profile just for them so they can go on it. So again, I wouldn't use it, but however, for those that do have multiple people using your tablet, then that might be useful to you. Another nice new change was with 4.3 is some graphic improvements, uh, including OpenGL ES 3.0, which basically means you're going to get better graphics with your device. Simply put, it's basically the latest version of the uh, industry, industry standard for high performance graphics. Uh, for example, I have Asphalt 7 on here, which is a somewhat, uh, somewhat graphic intensive uh, game, I guess. So I wanted to just kind of show that off real quick. Again, uh, developers do need to implement these graphic changes into their apps to start utilizing this, uh, this these high performance graphics. So you're gonna have to wait for that. But I uh, just kind of wanted to show off a quick game to see these graphics. All right, so here you go. For example, just run through this map on this game. Um, you'll see graphics look great. They look great uh, on 4.2.2 as well. Um, but you'll see. There is uh, just some graphics there. So I wanted to show off with that. Now another new feature with 4.3 is that Google Play Games is uh, comes by default. Basically all these new games that you can have synced levels and such between your Google account, which is uh, pretty nice actually. I really like that feature. So that's just there by default. Uh, you can grab it in the Play Store if you want to download it. Now also there's some new networking updates including Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. With Bluetooth, uh, it, is not, it now has Bluetooth Smart Support, aka Bluetooth Low Energy, uh, which is essentially ways that you can pair with these new Bluetooth devices, um, with devices that are now Bluetooth Smart Ready. Uh, it's not necessarily using lower energy, it's just essentially being able to pair with these lower energy devices. And then in regards to Wi-Fi, what you can do is actually go ahead and go into the Wi-Fi settings. And there's actually a neat option in Advanced. I actually kind of like it. When you go to Menu, go to Advanced, you will see it is Scanning Always Available. Let me go ahead and zoom in on that so you can read what it says. So it says, let Google Location Service and other apps scan for networks even when the Wi-Fi is off. Essentially what that means is you do not have to have the Wi-Fi on to use uh, for GPS or location services because having your Wi-Fi on definitely improves your location and makes it easier to get a GPS lock. So you can check that, then it will turn Wi-Fi on when it needs to find a GPS lock or a location. They've also added additional language support, so uh, various languages have been added. Also, uh, with the dial pad, it has a very neat feature. The, they've added an autocomplete feature to the dial pad, finally. Um, overlay, manufacturer overlays such as TouchWiz, Sense, and uh, Moto Blur have all had it for a while now. Stock Android hasn't for whatever reason, but we can go ahead and go into settings once you're in the dialer and you'll see dial pad autocomplete. Just go ahead and check that, check that. And once you go ahead and start typing a number, we can go ahead and type one, you will see it brings up a list of names right there and numbers. Obviously I'm gonna blur them out, but if you see one that you wanna call, just go ahead and tap on it and it will instantly call that number, just like that. So. You'll see uh, it's very convenient, especially because you don't have to really, you can type in the name as opposed to the number instead of scrolling through all your contacts. So it makes it a little easier to find people. And then finally, there's some virtual surround sound that has been implemented. Uh, it actually works on the Nexus 7, the, the new Nexus 7, which I have right here. When you play a movie from, let's say the Google Play Store, if you're playing a movie, it does have virtual surround sound. Uh, it does have speakers right up here and down here as well. So just added some some audio improvements as well. So that's kind of nice, but that's really about it. That's all about the uh, the changes. So as you can see, nothing too major, but a lot of minor changes improving the operating system overall. So I'm pretty pleased with it. I am looking forward to 
uh, maybe a next gen, uh, major update to Android. A lot of people assume it's going to be Key Lime Pie. We will see. But uh, yeah, overall, 4.3 update. That's your full review. Let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Please subscribe to me if you like this video. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up.